everyone, it's Mara Medusa again. Uh, don't worry, first of all, I am wearing my seatbelt. I'm just putting it under my arm right now because it's bothering my neck nerves or whatever. And uh, for those concerned about me being distracted while driving, uh, I promise I look at my phone as little as possible. I literally look like all over the place when I'm driving, so uh, yeah. I also, you know, my job is to use an app and, you know, Google Maps and voice text to people on, like, regularly, so I am used to multitasking on the road, if that makes anyone feel any better. And also, my commute home is just basically one long road, <laughs> one straight road, so don't worry too much about me. Anyways, um, today I just wanted to mention a couple of things. I've been having a pretty good day today, so I figured I might as well make a video and just tell you guys about what's in my brain today. <laughs> but, uh, so, first of all, today I saw a lot of, uh, American stuff. <laughs> you know, like, nowadays when I think of America, I think of, like, the liberal America, but when I think of America, I think of, you know, like, traditional conservative values. And first, first today, uh, the first thing I saw that was interesting was a sticker or a magnet uh you know one of those little ribbon magnets that you put on the back of your car except um it was one and one side of the ribbon was blue and the other side was pink and then in the middle it said choose life and i'm not really pro or you know pro-choice or pro-life or whatever but i just thought that that was a really clever <laughs> way to uh, put, put across your opinion because like first of all it's enforcing the two gender norm <laughs> which I like so um, yeah I hope that nothing bad happens to that person <laughs> you know I'm, I'm in a pretty conservative area so you know you don't really have we don't have too many uh, SGWs around here it seems so yeah um then I saw a Make America Great Again sticker, and I guess that was like a, a, a hint at what was going to come later because I was, uh, <laughs> I was driving down this road and I see a fucking SUV with a giant flagpole <laughs> behind it, like in the hitch, that <laughs> said, uh, with a flag that said Trump make America great again and I was just like holy shit that is some dedication like an, an entire flagpole that you would like see like not in front of like a school or something but like in front of a small business I was like damn like does that like slow your car down at all I was thinking that to myself but when I actually uh stopped at a red light next to them I was like I like your flag <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that was pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, so as far as Valentine's Day goes, um, what are your guys' plans? Let me know in the comments. Today, since I'm with Andrew, shout out to the love of my life. <laughs> um, we were just doing something small. I got him a card and he made me a little Valentine. And I got him something else that... Uh, it's just small, <laughs> but he's gonna like it, I think. And uh, for other people who are in relationships, in happy relationships, uh, what do you guys do for Valentine's Day? Do you do something small? Do you do something big? Do you do, do you just treat it like any other day? Um, I've been just hearing a lot of stuff on the radio, like people asking like you know what do you guys do for valentine's day do you not care about it at all or do you go all out and people are calling in like oh i don't i don't give a shit it's just another day and, and i only go for the retail which actually is pretty smart but um yeah so i valentine's day has never been like super special to me i've never like felt bad if i didn't have a valentine or anything like that also i heard on the radio today 
Palantine is a new thing. I think that's actually kind of cool if you like have a best friend or something and you want to uh, give them a Valentine. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that as far as the people who are in relationships or trying to get approval from someone they like um, and go all out for Valentine's Day with gifts and stuff like that, um, I think it's a great thing if it's reciprocated or appreciated. I don't think it's um, very necessary for a guy to go all out if the woman is ungrateful or if she um, just doesn't put any effort at all into it like it's okay if you know you're just kind of short on money and you just want to have like a you know a sentimental thing that's what me and Andrew are doing but when <laughs> when you like purposefully when su in superficial relationships that's what I'm really talking about um when somebody like bases how much someone loves them on the materials that they give them it's not a good relationship or if they're just you know disappointed because you didn't do enough no matter how much you did like put an effort into it it's it should still be appreciated no matter what in an equal relationship so yeah that's my opinion as far as um you know the big fucking like going all out for people that don't even really appreciate it as much as they should like they care about it a lot some women do they really care about it or they're like expecting so much and then uh you know they either um like I said are ungrateful or they're um they don't give anything in return and uh but for the relationships where it is equal um you know, I, I would really like to know, like, um, if you guys liked to, I, I, I'm guessing it really depends on the lifestyle, um, you know, if you're rich and you're, and you have a good relationship, then I'm sure you would fucking go on a vacation or something, you know, something nice, but, um, anyways, uh, as far as it goes for single people, um, I get a lot of guys telling me, you know, that, um, they have given up on women, you know, the whole MGTOWN movement is <laughs> really big, um, and it's, you know, I don't think that Valentine's Day should make you feel any worse about yourself just because you're not with somebody, and, you know, you, it, if you really want to just have fun, um, make your make yourself happy because that's really what the most important thing is you have to make yourself happy before you can make someone else happy and once you find someone who wants to make you happy as well and it's a mutual relationship then it's easy <laughs> you know you, you so for uh, for those who are just you know feeling down about Valentine's Day men or women um, don't <laughs> you know it's just it's just a, a holiday for people to celebrate love and you know if you have a friend or a family member that you love celebrate Valentine's with them or just yourself smoke a blunt to yourself <laughs> uh, you know eat an entire fucking steak you know like it or just treat it like any other day you know because um, it really is just like, I mean Christmas sometimes is just like any other day because I haven't um, been spending it with my family really but you know you know life is what you make it I think um, I don't know I, I guess I just want to put out a little motivation because I, I hate seeing people um, you know so down just because they don't have anybody to spend their life with and stuff like that and it's really all about patience and acceptance and being yourself and not trying to seek approval, just getting approval. Because when you really, when someone really cares about you, 
they don't need you to jump through hoops. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I just, you know, wanted to put something out there while I am working on school and all that stuff. So yeah, uh, follow me on Twitter. Get a lovely ladies calendar for your love if you want. <laughs> Link in the description. Uh, become a patron if you want to see some sexy stuff. <laughs> all right, have a good one, guys. Happy Valentine's Day.